Coach talked about how uh, he kind of has sessions that uh, emphasize no distractions or listening to what is going on outside because so many people are talking about this team right now. Is that something that uh, the guys focus on, not hearing what's being said, you said all coach, around you? you said coach B, yeah, he, he said that he kind of emphasizes, you know, just focusing on the moment, that sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. I think we do a great job of just um, staying in the moment. We know that each game is big for us. Um, we're going to get everybody's best shot, so we can't be focusing on um, the websites or or anybody, whether it's family members or friends that are talking about how good we are. We just got to stay um, humble and just try to go out there and just compete every day. Are family members and friends talking to you about how good you are? Uh, you know, they're obviously going to try to, you know, <laughs> they're obviously going to give you compliments on how good you're playing, you know, especially being undefeated so far, you know, just how well we're playing as a team. So everybody's just going to, you know, everybody's just going to go out there and just just give you a compliment here and there, but we can't focus on that. We just got to focus on staying in the moment. What do you tell them? I don't want to hear it. Tell me in March what? <laughs> no, just um, just try to block all of it out and just try to, um, like I said, stay in the moment and just just try to go out there and just have fun. Do you have like a whole rehearsed thing down of what you say to people, or huh? do you have like a whole rehearsed thing down of what you say to people no, when they say it? No, just try not to focus on it. That's all. Do you feel like you're back to that same form that you were at during your freshman year? Definitely, I definitely feel more confident right now, and I definitely feel you know, more relaxed, and I'm having a lot, more, a lot more fun than I had in my past two years, especially with this team. Um, we're all out there enjoying ourselves, and we're just trying to play the right way, and you know, the guys this far, so we're just gonna keep on going. Are you surprised with how efficient you guys have been? Definitely, um, definitely surprised after Zach and Stu being gone. You have five freshmen coming in that are that have been giving it their all this whole season, and. You can see it in the preseason when they were behind the scenes, when they were in practice, and just asking us veterans a lot of questions. And, you know, they're just trying to be as efficient as possible for our team, just trying to do whatever they can to help out. And they've been doing a terrific job with that, and they've just been building on the team this whole season. Even though you saw that they were good early on, could you have anticipated uh, a start like this, undefeated two games into the Big Ten? Well, you know, we tried our best just to um, go out there and just give 110% of the time step on the floor and try not to take no plays off. And, I mean, I think just with that mindset, it's gotten us this far. So we're just going to keep continuing to do that. And, you know, Big Ten, there's a lot, a little, a little more, a, not that much room for error. So we just got to, you know, cut down some of the mistakes we've been having and just try to go out there and just play ball and have fun. If you guys win tomorrow, you're 16-0 and and you match the best start ever uh, at this school. Would that mean anything to you? Oh, wouldn't mean anything really. Um, we're just trying to go out there, like I said, play ball, um, have the most fun as possible. And I mean, we're just not going to stop doing what we're doing. We're going to go out there and just try to play our hardest and try to not make that many mistakes as we can because, you know, a lot of teams are getting filmed. So, film getting passed around. So, we just got to be ready. But in terms of, of Michigan history, I guess everybody knows the Fab Five stuff. Do you guys look back at that 85 86 team or maybe that 89 team as inspiration or to, to as? The, the heritage and tradition that Michigan has? Definitely. We definitely talk about that every day, and we talk about um, just being a Michigan man and just going out there and just giving it your all for for your family, which is the team, and um, just going out there and just playing for your teammates and the coaching staff. And I think we just try to do a great job of just focusing on, on that and just staying in that moment, and I think everybody's just doing a great job so far. Glenn is somebody who gets compared to you sometimes because you're kind of the same size, same type of player. Do you how um, impressed are you with the way well, he's been not, able to the Zach, not the same Zach player. He's way more athletic than I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that after that put back on rebound and dunk. So definitely different player. But you know the the hunger, you know, you know just wanted, wanting it, wanting it so much. Um, we definitely had that same type of um, background. And you know he does a great job just getting extra reps out there. You know he he's been shooting really well for us lately. And you know, just doing whatever he can to help the team out, whether it's defense, um, getting offensive and defensive rebounds, and running the floor. So that's what we need in him. Tim, you guys have had a lot of success kind of pushing the pace and trying to make the game faster. Uh, how, what difficulties arise against a team like Nebraska that might want to slow it down and limit possessions? Um, definitely, you got to, um, you know, not, not get too anxious. You really got to focus on um, defending for 37 seconds, as Coach Beeline talks about, which is, um, Last two seconds, boxing out, getting a rebound, and just um, not not really focusing on trying to gamble for steals or 
or creating offense for that team. So we just got to settle down, really got to focus in on boxing out, focus in on staying um, in the stance, and just um, taking what defense gives you when you're on offense. Man. And uh, you know, Coach Bion was talking about Karras and how much uh, he's <coughs> grown physically in the last couple months. What can you, can you say about his kind of transformation? Definitely, um, definitely he's gaining weight every day. and. You know, he just goes out there and just tries to give it his best. He's always last in the gym when practice is over, um, playing one-on-one -on -one with either Esso, Corey, Trey. I'm um, just getting that <laughs> extra um, reps and extra um, time out there on the court to be the best player he can, and that's what um, will make him a great player in the future. Do you stay out of the one-on-one -on -one stuff? Because uh -huh. I know Trey was in here a couple weeks ago saying so he cares beat him. Do you stay out of the one-on-one -on -one stuff? or? That's a Columbus thing, so I try not to stay in between that, so I'll let them take care of that. But I definitely get in there once in a while. So. Anything else? Right, thanks. Thanks.